How's it going, everybody? Welcome to RacerXOnline.com. I am Chris Kiefer, and we are at the new and improved Paris Raceway. That's right, under new ownership. Excited to ride today, not only because it's a new track, new design, but also I can see my guy Randy Richardson from Michelin Motorcycle Tire. All right, so what we're going to do today, we're going to ride with the new Starcross 6 medium soft and medium hard tire. But I'm going to leave this over here to Randy to give you a little bit of backstory about the tire, where it comes from, what's changed, and also what can we expect on this tire here today, Randy? All right, yeah, thanks, Chris. Uh, we're excited to be out here, like you said, for the new Michelin Starcross 6 tire line. Tire line. Um, we'll be riding on the Michelin Starcross 6 Medium Soft that's designed for intermediate to soft terrain uh, to begin with. And then later in the day, as the track conditions change, if you want to, we'll switch up to the Michelin Starcross 6 Medium Hard. And uh, the entire Michelin Starcross 6 range is uh, greatly upgraded uh, with an increase in performance and traction uh, when new and used um, and increased durability as well. So uh, compared to our previous range, the Michelin Starcross 5, uh, we have uh, up to 16% improved traction when new and then uh, also 19% improved traction compared to used tires. So that's very important for the average consumer. They invest in a set of tires. They want that performance initially, but also that performance to last throughout the life of the tire. We've improved also the durability uh, up to 11% improved durability uh, for the Michelin Starcross 6 range versus the previous range. So you guys might be wondering, oh, Chris, Michelin's not a part of the Supercross AMA Motocross Series anymore, but learned a little bit of, uh, about Michelin here today in the introduction. So you guys are a part of MotoGP since 2018. Just, uh, we began back in 2016. We joined as a spec tire for MotoGP in the premier class, and uh, we use that as a laboratory to develop uh, new technologies that we bring to the commercial marketplace on our sport bike tires and sport touring tires. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of you guys say, hey, Kiefer, I want a tire that has traction and I want to have longevity in my tire. It's very difficult to get that. It's very difficult to weave those two together. All right, we're going to put some more time on these things here today. About two hours total time here at Paris Raceway. But I did bring two other guys with me. Uh, not only do you see this KTM 450 SXF, this is the new factory edition. This is my workhorse test bike. Uh, we have a pair on here. We have a pair on a YZ125 as well as a KX450. I'm going to talk to those riders and tell us what they think. Maybe give you a little bit of a comparison with other tires that I have been riding. And don't forget, we're going to put more time on this tire to give you some more longevity results. You can check that over on KieferInkTesting.com. So we'll be right back. I'm going to get to riding. Do not adjust your laptops, TVs, computer screens, whatever it is that you have. This is Michael Lindsay over from VitalMX.com. And uh, look it, I'm going to call a spade a spade. I had no one else to come over in my video. All of my guys bailed, so I just grabbed Michael. And we never really do this as media. We never bring other media into our videos. It's like sacred video. I'm like, it doesn't matter. We're going to talk about tires. So I brought Michael in here to talk about the Starcross 6. Mid-soft, that's what I rode today. Um, I don't have much time on the mid-hard, so specifically we had a 110 rear tire today. They did not have 120s, so we didn't get to test for 120s. I feel like for West Coast conditions, us out here, we kind of need 120, 80, 19s, not a 110, 90. So um, we had that on the 450s, obviously the 80 size on the front. But for me, I'll just rip off what I think. Starcross 6 is slightly improved. There is more lean angle traction in the front tire. I'm a front end steering guy, so I do like that. I do feel though the carcass is a little bit stiffer than other competitor tires out there, but what you're probably gonna get, and I don't know this for sure, I haven't put that much time on it, but you will probably get more durability out of these tires than other softer compound carcass tires. Um, for example, Pirelli has a softer carcass and that carcass breaks down a lot quicker than that of a carcass that's stiffer. So 
I feel like with this new silica technology, they kind of found a blend. You still have a, a firm carcass, but yet I got pretty good lean angle traction. Mike, today Paris, obviously new track, dist up deep, but after that, a foot of loam, we have that hard base. So what's your opinion on the tires? Well, so kind of opposite of you, I'm much more of a rear steer guy. Um, front, I would say my initial impression is the same com coming from the Starcross 5 is a little bit stiffer carcass feel. Uh, straight line braking, I feel just a little bit more in my hands. I started at 13 and a half PSI and kept going down half PSI intervals. Um, I think my happy kind of medium was about 12 and a half, maybe a little bit less before I started to get maybe too low and I could feel rim. Uh, lean angle traction is very good. Again, I don't need a lot of front end feel. I prefer a tire that actually pushes a little bit. So as we got down into the ruts, as we finally found the base, I actually have so much side wall and lean angle traction. I'm actually climbing out of ruts a little bit early right now. Um, that was part of also why I dropped the tire pressure to almost get the tire to roll and move a little bit. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go out on the mid hard right now because I'm looking for maybe just a little bit less maximum traction, I guess. Um, so weird for you to say that because I'm the opposite. Yep. I like to have a lot of side grip, almost where it just has a lot of oversteer. Yes. So I like a tire, a front tire that grabs a lot. And for me, um, what we call, and Michael knows this, area one is the beginning of the corner, area two is the middle, and area three is the end. And for this front tire, for how stiff it feels on bump absorption, it has really good lean angle in area one. I actually feel, so that was, I was telling Randy that for me, if it's upright, I feel like it is a little too stiff at times for me, but lean angle comfort with that sniff, stiffness is great. I feel like I can push so hard into area one of the corner and I'll say like, I could really trust it today. I could just, you times where you feel like you're almost not gonna somehow get it into the first part of the corner, you could just keep going in faster, 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 and just toss it in and it would accept it. But like what you said is for me, turn or area two is where I kind of have short arms. I end up with a lot of weight on the front already. And again, I don't need a, my riding style. I don't need a lot of front end input. That's where I felt like the amount of traction it was providing was actually a little too much for me. Um, again, so if you're somebody like yourself, it's really, really needing good feedback, uh, really trust the front end. It is a very good front tire um, in that aspect. Yeah, so we have about, I don't know, a couple hours on today. I'll continue to put some more time on them. And for me, this is the upper echelon of rubber for off-road motorcycles. Like if you're talking about a Dunlop or a Pirelli or even now Maxxis has other upper echelon end of tires, I think the Starcross 6 is in that range. The Starcross 5, although had Good bump absorption, I feel like. It just lacked a little bit of lean angle traction for me. And then once that tire knob from the five kind of wore down, I didn't have a lot of feel. So what Michelin is saying is like, once these things wear down a little bit, we're gonna have a little bit more traction than we do with the Starcross 5. I'm gonna figure that out. And uh, that will be interesting because where I live, it's hard pack and sand. I have a lot of different varieties. So we'll put more time on that. But I think we're breaking some rules here doing this. Nah, it's all good. You're my buddy. So Vital MX, Michael Lindsay, uh, you can go over there, check out their video, what they thought. But uh, if you have any more questions, you can hit me up, Chris, at KieferIncTesting.com. Or, of course, are you a subscriber to Racer X, Michael? The magazine. Yes, actually, I am. And the YouTube channel. There you go, and people. Podcast. Okay, there you go. See, 30 so bucks, industry, 12 issues. You get something free every time you subscribe. So why don't you go do that, and we'll see you back here next time on RacerXOnline.com. See ya. See ya. See ya.